Hey friends, how you doing? Today, almost the last day of the year, I should make a, yeah, another uh, test with another laptop. And I just traded my Fujitsu Amilo Pro and I traded against this little Asus AEE PC. And as you can see, this is the one with uh, yeah, a totally different uh, skin that I already had. Because I also had the old version of this one and this is the one with the Anthem processor as you can see you have a Windows 7 home license well you know uh, working really good but now we're installing Mac on this baby we're gonna install iAdcos the S3 and uh, as soon as we get at uh, the customization part uh, we will get back to you and this is the EEE PC the one with a uh, 120 gigabyte hard drive and one gigabyte of memory and the dual core uh, processor Intel Anthem. Okay, um, I went to the to the disk utility and you can see that this uh, drive comes with uh, two partitions and we're gonna make one partition from that. We just hit a partition here on top. And you can hear the bombs. No, it's not war. We're deleting the windows now. The windows partition will be deleted. And we create a Mac OS X journal partition. So that's what we're doing. We're deleting windows from this thing now. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this with an external uh, DVD. Uh, CD-ROM player that I connected uh, to the USB and if you have Asus like this uh, if you want to uh, you know to boot from this thing you just have to hit the escape while booting up and then you will see a little menu that will tell you you can see here 160 gigabyte you know um, it's uh, it's okay like this and now we will go to the customization part. We hit uh, continue. And by the way, uh, I add cost, uh, you know, number one, uh, big up to you, my friend. Also, uh, happy new year to you guys there. You know, this is probably my last uh, video for this year. Or maybe not. I will post uh, another video uh, for you, uh, tomorrow night showing you all the fireworks okay uh, what we can do here is uh, we leave it at Azira we can also select Chameleon you know but I'll just leave it at Azir bootloader options graphic enabler uh, I will not select uh, Ethernet I will not select uh, I will select the USB fixes and in patches we take a look at the patches we can say sleep enabler I will not touch the USB this one and the UUID drivers main hardware I never did this before right? so you guys uh, this can all go wrong what I'm doing here Turn on AHC, it's already turned on. SATA IDE, non blah blah blah, but we can take the, the top one, it should be good enough. Sound is uh, already selected. We need a PS2, so we're gonna go for Fudu PS2. Um, CPU power Fudu P state, I think, I'm not sure laptop hardware we just select everything up there card reader etc uh ntfs i don't know i, I can never use this so i, I will not use it you because i really don't know what to i'll just select it whatever and i can open ntfs this i don't know what uh video card i should select so i will not select anything for now i will have to check that later for the wireless we will select the Ateros. So I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but it should. Um, kernel corner with other base wireless devices. 
we can try to select that one as well I'm not sure if this is gonna work eh? so you know I know that it also has a terrace here I don't know which one I should take Ethernet devices device blah 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 LE2 this one is 3 32 bit I really don't know which one I should take I'll just take one of them or maybe I should not I don't know and uh, well up here we see Intel Intel Pro these are the how about the kernel I didn't see no kernel forgetting about kernels here yeah? what's up with my kernels laptop hardware Fudu SATA drivers there we go kernels we almost forgot about this one and I'm gonna take the Anthem kernel because this has an Anthem processor and RTC okay and RTC we don't need anything there we're just gonna hit install there we go I'll let you know how this went after the boot there we go she's done we're gonna hit restart there we go okay let's take a look what's gonna happen now and uh, yeah, I'm turning her on and let's see a real-time boot here we're not typing anything the first time I typed uh, slash V and slash F and then she started up And I'm trying to discover some action here at the hard drive. As you can see it's blinking lightly, the hard drive. That's important, eh? otherwise the system won't boot up. So we made the right choices by taking the, uh, the first, uh, there you go, the first option that is responsible for this. Um, seeing of the hard drive and we take a look it didn't go too good I think um, because if you go into this Mac you will see that the processor is unknown that while I selected the Anthem processor but it's unknown and let's look at some more information here and see what we can find and you can see it's been seen as a MacBook and it's been discovered as a MacBook 4.1 so that is pretty good but uh, the Wi-Fi is not working so I will uh, Google the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi cache the network is also not found so I made the wrong choices so you should not select anything in network and after the install you should just go uh, by the way, you can also not install uh, the any audio and then just get the Fudu HD and then select it with the Kex uh, installer and you'll be done. So that's it. It's working. It's uh, This is the EEE PC with a 160 gigabyte hard drive running Windows 7 starter. I traded it against uh, my Amilo Pro, the V2010, also a MacBook and I wanted this little MacBook because I wanted to create I mean I wanted this Asus because I wanted to create a small 10 inch MacBook so that's it this is my foundings and I did it in one time so thanks to iAdcos uh, for the S3 version well in fact I'm all happy because uh, it's working and uh, yeah I also have the bigger brother here this is uh, uh, Acer Acer and this is also a Mac and you can see that this is uh, 2.16 uh, gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo so this has been recognized really good this processor that while this processor hasn't been recognized too good this is by the way version 6.6i 6 
So um, this is from Hazard, and this is the version from my friend I, at cost. Anyway, so this was it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this movie. And if you have a EEE PC, a 10 inch, you can try to install iAdcos S3 uh, on the machine. Um, don't select the audio drivers and don't select anything for network. Afterwards, if the machine is started up, you can with a Kext helper install the Fudu HD driver and we must find this particular Ateros um, uh, Wi-Fi driver for this machine and then everything will work and we will have a working little MacBook just to test this is not a message to you saying go and build your own MacBook from an old Asus you buy on eBay no this is just for testing and of course it will never work as good as a real Mac thank you for watching this was put in my next video and a happy new year and thank you for subscribing my channel thank you for adding me and subscribing and 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 leaving messages and hitting like and hitting dislike thank you for everything